the sunspot cycle and pole reversal. This is some really interesting phenomenon. It's very weird. Um, ever since we've been observing sunspots very regularly, it's about till the, uh, from the beginning of the 1600s or the 17th century. We've observed, we've observed sunspots because that's when the first telescopes were made. Remember, it was 1605 where Galileo took his telescope and pointed it to the sun, and then we were able to start observing sunspots. So when we've observed sunspots, we've noticed that throughout the year and throughout the different years, the sunspot cycle goes up and then down, up and then down, okay? So it goes kind of like this. In the 1600s, when we first started observing, there weren't that many sunspots. And I'll talk about that in a uh, few minutes, why that is and what happened. Then uh, by the 1700s, the sunspots started picking up. See, maximum, minimum. Maximum, minimum. Maximum, minimum. Maximum, minimum. And then maximum, minimum, and then so on. And then the, the number of years between each maximum is pretty, peri uh, pretty regular, about 11 years. The sunspot cycle repeats every 11 years. So, for example, if this is 17, let's say this is 1728, and then this one here is about 1739, you see, uh, let's see here, yeah, 1739, and then this one is about 1750 right here, you see? And then the next one, 1761, 1772, uh, 80, um, 83, and then so on and so on. And by the time you get to the present days, you see here you have maximum and minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum. When the sunspot maximum is happening, that year the sun is more active. It's a little bit more dangerous to be out in the sun. It's more dangerous to go out, to go continually get a tan. So you're usually told to avoid the sun more during sunspot maximum years. Minimum years, a little bit safer, you know. 1990, so coming to the present age, 1990, let's see if we have another graph. So it's the same thing, you see. 1990 was about the last sunspot cycle from our modern era. Then you get 2001, then 2012, which was about last year, you know, sunspot maximum years. What does this mean, 60 to 200? That means during that year, during the course of the full year, there's going to be 60 to somewhere between 60 to 200 sunspots appearing in the sun. Not all at once. Remember, sunspots only last two to eight weeks. So a single one disappears about two months later. So the 60 of them all don't appear at the same time. Neither do the 200 appear at the same time. But during the course of the year, 60 to 200 appear on the sun. Notice that even between that, there's a big difference. If only 60 appears, the sun is not very active. If 200 appears, that's more dangerous, okay? Uh, do you notice any overall pattern here? You see here, you see the maximums in the 1800s? See 18, the maximums are kind of low. Even when it is maximum, the number is low. You see this num the line that I drew? Uh, the line that I drew I was trying to find out if there was an overall pattern. I'm connecting the maximums. And it kind of drops and goes back up. Do you notice that the maximums in the eight, uh, 1980s, 1990s, you see the maximums are so high, and even here it's kind of high. The past 40 years or so, 50 years, they're generally higher. But then if you go here, they get down, they get down, they get down. So during uh, from about 1940 and then back, it seems even the maximums are not too high, you know. Then there's a period here where the maximums are higher. Then it really goes down, 1800s, then goes back up. 
So there seems to be an overall pattern. So where even during that pattern, uh, during about 40, 50 years, the maximums are high, high. Then they go back down. And then even when it's a maximum, it's not that high. You see what I'm saying? You hear oh, sometimes, oh, there's global warming. The Earth is getting warmer, warmer, warmer. Part of that might be due to the fact that uh, we are, it seems like we are on an upward trend. The sun is more active. More sunspots are observable now versus back here in the early 1900s, you see. I'm not necessarily saying there is no global warming, that we're not doing anything, uh, you know. So we might still be careful, you know, to do our carbon dioxide emission and all of that. Let's be careful about that. But you have to also know that there's other stuff going on. There's overall maybe a sun cycle happening. Do you see what I'm saying? So maybe the reason we are warming is that the sunspots are more, uh, you know, more prevalent. The sun is more active. And maybe after that, it's going to go back down. And it's not going to be as warm, you see. So there's that overall trend. Sunspot minimums are 2006, 2017. Basically, what that means, in between them, you see, it'll take five years or six years and add it, you get 2006 and 2017. During that, you are very, very little sunspots, 2 to 20. And then the sunspot minimums would be this one, you see here? Minimums, if I just connect them, the minimums are like this. You see here, the, the bottom, the line on the bottom here. If you notice that uh, the minim even the minimums are a little high now. You see that? The minimums are a little high. Then when you go back to 1960s and 50s, the minimums are lower, and then they're low, 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 and then the minimums go up again. You see that? Like that. And then the minimums go down. So there's all, even the, there's a little pattern with the minimums taking place. So if the sun is more active now, even when it's a minimum, it's still more than back there. In, a, er, in the early 1900s, you see. Now, every 11 years, not only does the sunspot cycle uh, start, a new sunspot cycle, but the poles of the sun reverse. North pole becomes south pole, south pole becomes north pole. The same thing happens to the Earth's field Earth's magnetic field also reverses, but it takes many, many hundreds and thousands of years. We don't know this uh, Earth's magnetic field's reversal. Maybe it takes roughly around 300,000 years for the Earth's field to reverse. Ma the sun's field reverses every 11 years. Every 11 years, there's a sun pass cycle. A new one starts, but the field reverses. The field reverses, you see. So if I ask you on the test, how many years does it take for the magnetic cycle to repeat, the whole magnetic cycle. That's really usually a trick question because a lot of students want to put 11 years, okay? The answer is 22 years, right? The sunspot cycle repeats every 11, but the magnetic cycle repeats 22 because every 11, it reverses itself, you see? So the answer is 22. The uh, this picture shows you what this means here. <clears throat> See, for example, in 1969, if a new cycle began, a new mag uh, magnetic field cycle with the magnetic maximum, look at what's happening. The, if there is two solar spots next to each other, and then the magnetic field comes out and goes in, this one is a North Pole, this one is a South Pole. And then here, if uh, two solar spots are occurring, this one is a South Pole, this one is a North Pole. You see that? So it's, this one is reverse of that one. And then these two are the same, and then these two are the same. But this is reverse of that. The next 11 years when the cycle is going to repeat, what has happened? This one has become that, you see? 
So this has one has changed. South north south north pair. And then this one has turned into north south north south pair. Not, not only that, but up down reversal has taken place too. If this one was the north magnetic pole, this one was the south magnetic pole. Now this is south, this is north. And then switch back here too. So this way, this way. So every 11 years it switches this way. And then they switch this way too. You see, like that. So this becomes south, north, south, north. So the whole magnetic cycle takes 22 years to repeat. From 1969 to 1991, it comes back to its original uh, uh, configuration.